Guys, my kids are sleeping. I'm gonna attempt to do a YouTube video while they're napping. One's upstairs, one's upstairs. Uh, I'm home today, I'm not in the office, and so I thought it'd be a great opportunity to record and to share and do a review on the EL, the new EL1 flagship Canon flashes. So um, first and foremost, we bought these, let's give some background, we bought these three months ago. Um, we did an unboxing, we read really amazing reviews about them, um, but had a hard time pulling the trigger at first because we were like, gosh, they're like a lot more than the normal 600 EXRTs, which we own six of them, we shoot with them every wedding. Um, and so we decided, you know what, let's go for it. Let's buy two, just two. Uh, one for Patrick, one for me. We knew that they would connect with our 600 EXRTs, so we wanted to try them out. For the record, I don't normally like flash. Like, I'm not a flash photographer. We are bright and airy, light, natural light uh, photographers. We've learned flash because of reception. Um, and you can ask my husband. I'm always like, oh, like I hate flash. It like frustrates me some days. But guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, the, the EL1s have been game changing. Three months ago, we bought our first. We have shot 20 weddings in the last three months using these, using only these, and we absolutely love them. Um, let me actually show you the favorite feature, physical feature. Um, actually, maybe I have two physical features I love about them. The first is that uh, we now use the LP EL flash batteries no more double A's. Uh, I was really tired of batteries rolling around in the car, in my in my bag, in my case. Um, I wear a fanny pack to weddings. I even had batteries in there. And um, this has been so nice. It charges on the same charger as our uh, R5 flash batteries. I'm sorry, R5 camera batteries. And um, they're great. They're a little bit bigger, but they're awesome. They last a whole reception. Patrick and I can pretty much do a full wedding four to five hours with them and not change them. So my second favorite feature that I want to highlight real quick is the fact that I have the ability to do like a full 180-360 um, rotation with these and the angles are both ways which we love. Um, so I really love that. So like last night at last night's wedding we shot two weddings this weekend. Um, I put it up on a stand with an umbrella full on this way and then at one point the ceilings were really high and so I changed it um, and I needed to go backwards to shoot off the wall. So that was like really, really amazing because um, normally with the other ones, the other flashes we were using, we couldn't do that. We couldn't go full directional like that. I, like I said, I'm not normally one to love flash and in the last 20 weddings, I literally take this flash everywhere. I take it into getting ready spaces. I take it into uh, first looks, depending on if we're inside. If Obviously, if we're outside, we don't use them. Um, but we honestly love the control that we have with them. I was a little nervous about the menu. The menu for these, and I'm gonna turn it on and show you. Um, when you turn it on, it basically looks like this. It just has like your main screen. Currently, I have it set on dual, so I have a option A and option B primary on camera, secondary off camera. Um, but when you go into the menus, and I go in here and I hit sub menu, um, there's basically every, all, the, all the folders are numbered. Um, there's nothing, there's no words. So you literally have to know it by icon. And I thought I was gonna be a little worried about that, but because I'm visual and um, I like like landmarks and like little, you know, I like on Google Maps, I love all the little like mile markers and like the little pictures of like a fork and a knife for like a restaurant. It actually has helped me um, use the menu and use things that I normally would not use. So the menu options for me, I really love it. I rarely use the lamp, but it exists. Um, we actually, fun fact, we use it for when people are taking selfies at reception. Uh, Patrick and I will say, hey, hold on a minute. And we just light them really nicely. Um, and then people have like, they're like, oh my gosh, thanks so much. We love these so much that we actually now own four. I have two and Patrick has two. We shoot primary and secondary for them, one on camera, one off camera when I say that. Um, and the the features, the, the use of ease to control them is so great. I probably should do a video for you guys. You can comment below. I think I should do it, teach you guys a little how to use off camera flash using these. 
Um, if you're afraid of flash photography, it's not as scary as you think. Um, it's actually really fun once you get the hang of it and you know how, like how to use light in a room. Review, end of the day, five stars. <laughs> I would buy more. We've thought about buying more for our other photographers that shoot for us, even for us to have a third. Um, when we need a third, we just pull out our 600 EXRTs because they do talk together, which is really nice. So that's also a win for you guys if you're shooting with a 600 EXRT or uh, EXRT family um, flash, they still work with these. So you could just buy one and then uh, use use this with your other one um, and you decide which one's primary. Obviously, I would say use this as primary. So hope this was helpful. Hope you get excited. Uh, leave any questions below, comments, happy to help. Um, want you to improve your flash game at weddings and events. And um, I mean, even brand shoots. I mean, we did a brand shoot and I took it with me. And I mean, look at this picture. Like I did this in the client's house using two of these. So um, I love them. I am sold on them. Clearly we've bought a, a few. And um, I hope this is helpful. I hope you guys have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.